have two ladies entering the virtual stage. We welcome Ms. Mirala Osbatam, expert associate for product planning, and Yasmina Muich, ICT product development specialist from BH Telecom. In next few minutes, we will hear more about internet security and how current requirements for technology and services are becoming extremely complex tasks where cloud services are imposed as a neutral choice. Ladies, do we have the connection? Can you hear us? Yes, we can hear us, hear you. Just a second, uh, I will share first of all our presentation. So uh, first of all, I will start and after that my colleague Yasmina will continue. Uh, one more time, hello everyone. Uh, as you can see and at this first slide, our topic is online protection and planning and designing cloud-based solutions. In first few minutes, I will talk uh, to you about internet threats, rising awareness of information security, definition of online protection, and well-known companies that offer various security solutions. And then my colleague Yasmina will continue uh, with the topic called uh, planning and designing for base solution. As you know, uh, we have a very short time for presentation and your possible questions, so it's better to move on the next slide called Internet Threats. We are facing an increase in adv advanced Internet threats and cyber attacks that threaten data security and the smooth operation of users. The importance of protection against malignancy on the Internet, protection on, of minor child children, protection against identity theft and the general spread of cybercrime is becoming increasingly recognizable. However, people's awareness uh, of the importance of information security is not sufficiently developed. Therefore, it is very important to develop user awareness of the malicious side of the internet before the damage caused by the use of internet services without adequate protection. And as addition, educate users that investing in security is not a measurable cost, but a measurable prevent prevention. Uh, according to one uh, research by Sophos, uh, a leader in Gartner's Magic Quadrant or Endpoint Protection Platform, this slide showed the most common entry points for cyber attacks. As can be seen in the graph, most cyber attacks come via uh, email, 33% followed by malicious, malicious and compromised websites, 30%, then software application, 23%, and finally via USB or external devices. Therefore, because of the amount of cyber attacks, many companies in the world are involved in development of various security solutions for more securely use of internet services and protection or of device through which users access the internet, such as computers, tablets, and mobile devices. As I said before, uh, aware of the importance of cybersecurity, many global companies offer security solutions for residential and business users. On the other hand, instead of develop, developing security solution, we are based uh, our security offer on strategic cooperation with security experts and companies such as Kaspersky Lab, Sophos, uh, Trend Micro, and Zemana. Uh, cooperation with, uh, with the above mentioned companies um, for the development of security solution tells you how seriously we have taken the problem of the spread cyber crime, as well as the need to offer our residential and business customer adequate online protection. I'm sure that most of you are aware of the existing of numerous internet threats and that most of you use some kind of protection of your data and devices, but that's not enough. We should make all users aware of the damage they may suffer if they use internet services without adequate protection. 
Uh, here I will finish my presentation and now my colleague Yasmina will uh, present the topic uh, planning and designing cloud-based solution. Uh, I wish to all of you a pleasant rest of the day. So as I said already, today's company rely heavily on some kinds of software solutions and access to data. And because of that, investment in IT has grown tremendously over the past couple of decades. And Reliance in on-premises IT department worked well in the early days of IT, but access to data and application has become such a critical part of day-to-day -day operation that localized IT systems have become inefficient on many levels. So that's the reason why the cloud computing solutions are imposed as a natural choice. And the, the approach is not just to replicate an on-premises system in the cloud. The challenge is to rethink and redesign your infrastructure to simplifying it by, to, by simplifying it to make the most of cloud platform offers. And there is a great risk of implementing and designing, so, of designing solution, uh, implementing solution without, without cloud design process. And to mitigate the risk, the architect takes the application through design process and identify building blocks necessary for, to produce the service. There is something that we call service level objective, and they are essential to the implementation of the service and design. Service level objective define how the so solution and ser service should perform, and service level indicators that are uh, essential to implementation and operation of the service. SLI, SLI uh, is a measurable attributes of the service and uh, represents its availability and performance, such as uh, throughput, latency, availability, and so on. This bot, SLO and SLI, determine whether the cloud solution is accomplishing its purpose or some adjustment must be made. However, measurement in the cloud design is a practical matter, not scientific exercise. And on next slide, we can see that when we are making decision what to move to the cloud, uh, you, need to, you need to evaluate this decision against the benefit that cloud computing can provide. There are many benefits of cloud computing, such as high availability, elasticity, agility, fault tolerance and disaster recovery, and of course, uh, consumption-based model and differences between capital and operational expenditures. And uh, when you are moving to the cloud, you gain the benefit of uh, the, that you offload some of the responsibility of your infrastructure to the cloud provider. But moving to the cloud, however, is not an all or nothing kind of things. When you are evaluating your use of cloud solutions, you need to balance uh, your need for controlling resources against the benefit of allowing a cloud provider to handle things for you. So it's important to determine what kind of solution you need, infrastructure, platform, or software as a solution. And on next slide, we can see that design is definitely technical activity. Uh, we, you, on this slide, you can see the three-tier approach that we use to distinguish the separate parts of the solution. First of all, we have business logic layer that incorporates all the transformation and action that are critical to the purpose of the solution. You can think about business logic layer as application itself. We here talk about computer products that allow you to easily and dynamically allocate resources that are needed for any computing task. You can create your virtual machine, take the benefit of underlying infrastructure, scale your resources, and uh, gain the benefit to use extremely powerful computers that you otherwise not be able to afford. And next, we have data layer. Data layer deals with information and storing the data. And uh, um, there are many op options of storing data, whether you need to store data temporarily on a disk mounted to, the, uh, to your VM, or you need to be able to store data for a long term. And of course, there is a presentation layer that deals with flow of the information from the user through the service and back to the user. The transport of data is networking. Summing up this three-tier approach, we have a practical solution, but it might not be secure. It might not be, uh, it might not recover well from disaster. So on this slide, you can see that it's very important. Please go back. Uh, it's very important to design for resiliency, scalability, and disaster recovery. 
there are many technologies available in service design to prevent these occurrences, limit them and recover from them if they occur. Uh, in a complex cloud environment, things are bound to go wrong from time to time. And it's very important to maintain your uh, application and infrastructure high available. So cloud provider implement system that monitor the health of your resources and determine whether and, and make action when the resource uh, is determined to be unhealthy, thereby ensuring that the cloud is fault tolerant. The disaster recovery not only means that you have a reliable backup of your data, it also means that uh, the cloud infrastructure can replicate your virtual machine in an unaffected region so that your uh, data is safe and your application availability isn't impacted. But uh, it's very important to design to avoid single point of failure. And on the next slide, we, slide, we can talk about the backup solution. Replicate everything. And uh, in general, don't, uh, don't care about backup, care about restore. And uh, incorporate recovery testing into your design. The goal isn't just backup, the goal is the restore of your data. How long it would, uh, it would take to restore from backup and uh, does it work? And uh, make, uh, make sure that uh, what is your responsibility and what's the responsibility of the cloud provider. And uh, on the next side, slide, we have uh, connectivity. It's very important to establish connection between your services in the cloud and establish connection between your resources in on-premises and the application that you hosted in the cloud. For that purpose, you can use uh, VPN Gateway. VPN Gateway, there are, there are multiple configurations of VPN Gateway side to side, point to point, of course, you can load, add, you can add load balancer uh, that distribute traffic uh, to servers that can best handle the request. And you can also put web application firewall uh, that stop new vulnerabilities from making it into, into your virtual network so that you can operate in a more secure environment. And there are many options when we are talking about secure cloud networking. Almost all services in the cloud are composed of multiple services and uh, even thought that these services rely on each other from application to function, uh, they should not be tightly integrated. Uh, you should use a loosely coupled architecture that's known as an entire approach. And a virtual network is just like any other network that comprises of network interface cards, IP addresses, and so on. And uh, for the end, uh, as you know, cloud architect job is not finished when the solution is uh, imp implemented. Uh, so uh, there are usually a period of three to six months during the which the system is monitored, adjusted, and stabilized. There are very specific recommendations about design process uh, around architecture and, uh, and the planning for behavior that would help your solution to become stable and maintainable. And of course, uh, as you can see on this pyramid, and for, uh, please, the next slide, slide. You can see that here in BH Telecom, together with our clients, uh, we are built system tailored to a specific stage of uh, their evolving needs. And uh, we have system in a place and uh, we are able to help our customers to develop and implement plan that will work for their particular needs. And thank you very much for your attention. Uh, Yasmina, thank you very much. Mirella, thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very, very, very much for this insightful presentation. We would like to forward you one question before the end of your presentation. In general, has there been a problem in your environment that could be overcome by the security solutions of the partners you work with? Uh, that should be, uh, I should answer at that question because uh, that is uh, more about online protection. And uh, yes, of course, the number of institutional and business users who face uh, various security problems is increasing day by day. At the moment, uh, I can give you an example of a pharmacy from Slovenia that ex experienced the collapse of the information system last year due to hacker attacks for, uh, for the example of National Bank of Serbia, 
which forwarded uh, 175,000 uh, euro uh, to, to one fake uh, email with one click. Of course, uh, there are uh, there are a number of other examples of problems uh, that some of users have faced or may face in, in, in if they don't do not install adequate security solutions. Uh, because of that, as I said, it is uh, very important. Um, uh, it is very important to have adequate uh, security solutions uh, to advance ourselves to defense our services devices from uh, different kinds of uh, cyber criminality all clear yeah thank you very much for your response ladies thank you for presenting uh, we had a privilege to to actually hear from two ladies from bh telecom a local company leading company in our country uh, thank you